Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for North Dakota Today on this Monday morning. I'm Lisa Badeau here with Chris Berg on a on a slow moving day. Is it already Monday? I mean, I know you said like, the weekend. It's always too short. Yeah, it feels like it still should be like Friday evening at this point, maybe Saturday, but definitely not Monday. Of course, the Oscars were last night. Always a big show, and I got to admit, I I watched just a few snippets of it did you take it all in or? i uh, watched some of the red carpet like on <clears throat> e to, to see some of the fashion and then i watched i put it on i sat down for like 20 minutes and then i was like i just had so much to do so it was on <laughs> so every once in a while i would see uh in and out but i i, I never really watched the, the full thing but it was a big night at first as you read the headlines today at the it was the 92nd annual oscars for the first time ever a foreign language movie won Hollywood's highest honor. So we have a recap now in case you went to bed early like me or just lost interest like Chris. Here's the uh, wrap up from the red carpet. Parasite. The South Korean social satire Parasite made history at the 92nd Academy Awards, becoming the first film not in the English language to win Best Picture. We never imagined this to ever happen. We are so happy. The movie's director, Bong Joon-ho, won Best Director. <laughs> Thank you. Parasite also won Best International Film and Best Original Screenplay. Joker's Joaquin Phoenix won for Best Actor, his first Oscar. He used the podium to speak about animal rights and climate change. I think the greatest gift that it's given me and many of us in this room is the opportunity to use our voice for the voiceless. Renee Zellweger took home Best Actress honors for her portrayal of Judy Garland in Judy. My immigrant folks who came here with nothing but each other and a belief in the American dream, how about this? Laura Dern won Best Supporting Actress for Marriage Story. Brad Pitt won his first acting Oscar for his performance as a stuntman in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. This year's awards were not without controversy, with many calling out a lack of minority nominees in the acting categories and women nominees for Best Director. Janelle Monet opened the show with a musical number, taking a swipe at the lack of female nominees for Best Director. We celebrate all the women who directed phenomenal films. I thought there was something missing uh, from the list this year. Vaginas? Yeah. Former hosts Steve Martin and Chris Rock also called out the Academy for this year's lack of diversity among the acting categories. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. Uh, now, this is one I would like. Toy Story 4 won the Oscar <laughs> for Best Animated Film. Elton John and Bertie Toppin won an Oscar for Best Original Song for I'm Gonna Love Me Again from the movie Rocket Man. I did see Rocket Man, actually. You so did. there's a few uh, movies that I did see. Yeah, well, because I could watch it, you know, at home. So <laughs> the, well, one of the snippets that I saw, did you see the movie Harriet by chance? No. Nope. By Harriet Tubman. It is a phenomenal film. And so the main actress in there is, I had no idea she could sing. So last night she steps up to the mic and just crushed it with, I think it was a song must have been from Harriet or whatnot, but sometimes you see those people that are so talented. Even Monet, who did the uh, you know intro to the show, you know, I know she's uber talented like that, but she did a really, really nice I job. I really, I was not familiar with who she is. Sorry, I'm just, I'm more of like a Grammys versus an Oscars kind. And I was like, I really like her voice. Oh, just yeah. Just even when she was talking and or singing, I was kind of drawn to her. So, uh, but of course, you know, I won't watch most of those movies because <laughs> they're not, I still haven't watched Frozen 2 yet. And that's the one I'm most excited you about. You gotta see for. Frozen 2. Gotta too. see that one. Apparently we um, need to see Parasite as well. <laughs> and I, I just heard read last it. night that, that was, yeah, supposed to, it was originally a play turn it into obviously a movie and they win best picture so i'm excited to check it out and stay with us today we have our uh, fashion expert aji berg coming in a little bit later in the show and we're going to talk about what was really important fashion uh, we're going to kind of put together like a fashion police uh, and yes love it hate it i have no like actual like you know real eye for super fashion like Aji does when it comes to designers so it'll be uh, we'll have aji the expert and then we're going to put a couple of uh, other uh, just regular folk on the uh, on the desk so did you see anything last night though that you really liked or um you know there there were a, a few i don't know like super standouts i i did like um <laughs> let's see who did I, charlize theron ah. i always think that she looks uh, beautiful uh renee zellweger who uh, was a big winner i thought she yes. looked great um brad pitt uh he could have been wearing a potato sack and <laughs> say that he looks great uh so we'll see uh, there's some others even like uh billy eilish uh was on i, I like mm. want to get uh Aji's take on oh, her being super young. Oh, that reminds me. So the other piece of the show that just brought the house down is Eminem showed up. 
And that was incredible. Are you telling me the truth? Yeah, no, Eminem oh. showed up because they had like a bunch of great songs. They, you know, apparently they were going to do, I don't know, I guess, um, score of the year or whatnot. But anyways, Eminem did a live performance of his great song from, you know, 8 Mile. And just everyone was standing That's up. That's cool. It was great because you see all these stars are just like, like totally getting into it. It was fantastic. I usually go to bed at like nine on Sundays. So also like I missed, I was like, I wonder how late in the show that happened when I read some of the headlines. Well, I can't even think of the name of his great song from 8 Mile. What was it again? Um, Everybody, like when it goes on, you, I mean, you know yes. it, but um, anyways, yeah. I'm sure I'm Tony sure. T, Omniscient Tony. He's, I was going to say, <laughs> the, who we talk, our director is like a director. He's not really like the... Um, music guy necessarily <laughs> and uh, we thought maybe uh you would talk about this oh lose yourself lose yourself i'll say all Phenomenal. i think is mom spaghetti you know is that wasn't that line in there <laughs> mom spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. Yeah. anyway uh so we got to bring it back to bison football actually i i was hoping you could kind of ex i don't really understand the xfl really but i do love me some bison football and nick deluca he was just an animal. When I think about Nick DeLuca with Bison football, I think of he was such a key player when we beat the yeah. Hawkeyes. No, uh, well, right. all the time, all the time. Yeah. But he, and I think he played that game injured. But mm. I remember like it was just constantly DeLuca, DeLuca, you know. So anyway, now he uh, made his debut with the uh, New York Guardians. Um, they actually coasted to a 32 to three win over the Tampa Bay Vipers. Will you be watching the XFL? I tried to watch a little bit of it. I think yesterday, but you know we'll see. I mean, it's always fun to watch football, but it's springtime. I'm just not, my brain's not oh, quite there. You, you, you know need mean? a little break? For I just, <laughs> it's just sort of weird to be watching like football on a Sunday in the spring. So we'll see if I can adapt or stick with baseball or actually being outside, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully sooner than later. So, hey, we have a great show planned for you today. Coming up next, of course, this is Valentine's Day week. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it the whole week. Uh, we're going to talk about some great last-minute gifts if you haven't got your sweetheart something next with Hair Success. Stay with us.